I know you tweeted this, so let's get into free agency as they close it out. Um, you'd love to see the Browns get, you know, Houston Flowers, Ingram, Lawson, one of those guys, Campbell, Ioannidis, uh, Harmon or McLeod as the safeties. Um, when you look at it, salary cap is, is getting tight. They could restructure somebody and create some more space. Not sure that they'll do that because that will impact future years. What do you think they do? Do you think they try to get a, a, a veteran edge? or How would you prioritize um, what you would do with a veteran, either lineman, you know, edge or tackle? So your colleague, Mary Kay Cabot, reported on Sunday that guys like Yannick Nagakwe or Frank Clark, guys that would cost a little more, uh, aren't on the front burner for the Browns right now. Now, obviously, if there's no market for them and their price comes down, I think they could be options for the Browns. But that's why I'm looking at guys like Justin Houston, guys like Trey Flowers or Melvin Ingram, um, guys that are on the backside of their career. Won't cost a lot, in my opinion, for them to come in they're still effective in helping getting after the quarterback. Yeah, they added uh, Okoronkwo in free agency, and I think he's going to be solid, but I'm not so sold on Alex Wright right now as the third edge behind Garrett and Okoronkwo. So I feel like if they can add another veteran at the edge spot, I feel like that would be a perfect room and then it allows Alex Wright some more time for Jim Schwartz and his staff to de continue developing him. So, so it would be edge of veteran edge would be where you would kind of prioritize. Um, if, if you could only add an edge or a tackle, you'd, you'd think edge. I would probably prioritize tackle because even though they added Tomlinson, the rest of that room scares me to death. Jordan Elliott <laughs> hasn't turned out the way I hoped. Togi, I, he's probably not going to make this team. I just can't see it. And then Perry on Winfrey is obviously the wild card. We, we know the talent's there. We just don't know if he's mature enough to take that next step and help this defense. So if I had to choose, I would definitely prioritize D tackle at this point. And Calais Campbell, I mean, just to twist the knife a little more into Baltimore would be to, if we could somehow get Calais Campbell to come here and jump on that defensive line. Uh, still getting it done at 36 years old. Uh, still one of the best interior defensive linemen. I would love nothing more to see him come to Cleveland and then just stick it to Baltimore.